New chilling details are re revealed in the bond hearing for William Polo Edwards, the man accused of murdering Robert Davis back in May. Trump News, Marie Menefield attended the hearing at the Hines County Courthouse. Marie? Yes, Judge Faye Peterson denied William Edwards' re request for bond after hearing arguments from both sides. Prosecutors argue that Edwards is a flight and danger risk as he ran off to Lexington, Mississippi and Louisiana after allegedly shooting Davis. Detective Keith Barnett took the stand affirming that video evidence shows Edwards leaving his home with a 9mm gun and Edwards' phone pinging at a cell phone tower less than a quarter mile from the crime scene at the time of the murder. Edwards' defense, defense attorney pleaded to the court that if he had actually committed the murder, that his client would have not been in active communication with Clinton's, with Clinton's authorities until his arrest. Uh, cell phone providers and towers for the search of the, um, just basically all for people that knew him and no search of his history we were able to locate so, uh, cell phone numbers that were associated with him. So you weren't getting information from the Mr. Edwards, as to his location, as to his phone numbers, as to anything, were you? No, sir. He never gave us, hey, this is my phone number, this is where I am. It was all on an investigative side, in the record with him. And I gather from your testimony on cross that the officers on many occasions when Mr. Edwards called them, asked them to turn himself in. Is that correct? Yes, sir. And did Mr. Edwards ever turn himself in? No, sir. He was arrested by Louisiana State Police. Judge Peterson denied Edwards' bond for both charges of first-degree murder and a felon of possession of a handgun. The actual handgun used to commit the murder has not been recovered by authorities. It is believed Edwards disposed of the gun somewhere between Lexington, Mississippi and Louisiana. Marie Menefield, 12 News.